Hello and welcome back to Banishers Ghost of Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, the game. It is time to continue the Woodfolks quest. Last time we banished a ghost. This time we still have a couple of uh, haunting cases in front of us. We solved the Trappers, we solved the Heatons, but the Cook hasn't been solved. We have not investigated the house, so that's what we should start today. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. Ooh. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. Aye. I didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. Good, we're doing exactly that. Do we need to follow tracks again? Uh, next question, can we go upstairs? No, apparently we cannot. So we need to go to the oak trees, which if my memory served me well, oh, all right there, cool. For the third time, I'm using this little passage here, but this time, promise you guys, a secret path into the forest. This explains how she slips past the gates. Told you that would be it. All right, time for us to explore a little bit further. Very much looks like an ambush. Can I join in too? Okay, very well. Let's double check our map. So, got a little bit here on the right hand side, definitely got a lot on the left hand side. Let's start with the right hand side and we'll just go through every, uh, everything anyways. Another trap. Hmm, that's strange. Good. 
Okay, we could jump down here, but that would just mean we need to climb back up. Lots of flowers here, which is... Do you hear a French woman? Aye, and she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. <laughs> That's true. Good, there is a possibility to somehow get up there. Not sure yet how. But let's figure out what her case is. Who is there? Come no closer. He's come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? Who were you talking to? Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. All right, we'll do exactly that. We'll do exactly that, but before we're following that trail, I would like to explore the other side. Picking up something spectral nearby. Got what hit one hidden down, boy. As Christian, I fear hell and eternal punishment. As a minister, I believe in the holy power of forgiveness. As a philosopher and scholar, Charles Davenport, it's my duty. As oh, okay, it's a Davenport letter. Interesting. Good, let's check out what's so secret about the area up here. Oh. 
one thing that I always learned is the more remote an area, the better the treasure. Feeding off their own rage. Swing does not no interrupt boy. his attack. Interesting. Okay, could have fought that much better, but it was a small content uh, space, confined space. Figured hated. It was weird. But pleasant. There was essence tied to the altar, but it's all used up. I feel rested. Unbent. Mentally and physically. Interesting, we permanently got ten health. Like I said, uh, those little secrets here and there will make your life a bit easier. I feel something close. Okay. I knew it. Definitely felt like there is something. Take that to your face. Really far off uh, the trodden path, but that might not be too bad. This is where we would have ended if we would have taken the way over via the log, and then we had like one more, one more place to explore. It's a little hot here. The tracker. Strange figurine found near a cursed chest in the whispering trees. What does it do? Find the key to open this. Hmm. Good, at least we can from now on always move up here.
And somehow these guys are respawning, aren't they? Look to me. Once more, with vigor. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, I don't know why these guys are respawning, but they certainly are. Time for us to finally move to the north, where we wanted to go in the first place. And let's find out what that ghost is about. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. What's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war? Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. <laughs> That's true. I'm right here, you know. That's not good. All right, they buffed themselves with a war scream. Let's soften them up a little bit. She's really good at doing that. Bloody mongrel. Can I join in too? Yeah, basta. Very good. I very much like Numbers. the skill killing someone with a heavy attack and then reducing your damage by 90% because then uh, Reed can stay in longer in the fight. doesn't like us snooping. Crush the Gallius finally. Action to New Eden. And... This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. So she is a spy. What now? More stains. Keep digging. So she is a spy. That also explains why she hides, hides the fact that she is a French woman. Let's check out uh, the map real quick. Move up to here, another point of interest up there. Cannot not take point of interest. So far points of interest always had been great. They were either big items or um, places where we could get bonus attribute points, plus one to all attributes, or uh, 10 permanent healths. Like, that is not bad at all.
Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse, or a spell. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. Spirit unbounding, what does that mean? So these are haunting cases, I get it. Talk to Seeker. A thousand nine hundred meters away. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Um, not yet. How can I follow? There you go. Haunting cases. We'll follow that one. Okay. Interesting. Another block. Puts up a rope so that we can more easily access that going forward. Okay, and for once, I unfortunately just need to leave the cool secrets alone because these are witch secrets and we don't have any business dealing with them at the moment unless i find a way to kind of get here there's another point of interest more po Ooh. okay well there are plenty of points of interest I have the dull feeling that I will forget quite a few of them. I like the idea that you can come back to areas later. But it would potentially be a good idea. A good idea to allow fast travel in these circumstances good another strange figurine let's stay on the high ground for now and continue to follow the trail of numbers Yeah, well, Saiken there seems to be a high level area where a lot of those high level, uh, a lot of those high level things are happening. So yet another destructible wall. Okay. That's where we are going in just a second. Oh no! Did I just jump down a cliff that I can't get back up? Something definitely is here. 
just don't know what point of interest right there another camp to sleep shelter if you need a fire to warm you up and every camp always comes with loot which is great second wind defeating an enemy with melee attacks restores health Ooh. That is so good. Good, let's just double check the inventory real quick. So, we upgraded that weapon. Fourth heavy and light attack uh, always deal more damage, that's cool and all. But I have to wonder, is this here better? Slightly less damage. But only slightly and if we could get a soul chart uh, it would be about the same damage saber and firebane defeat defeating an enemy yeah, but you need to defeat one it's not live leech okay in which case we're keeping the original set And we're just going to fill up uh, our potion. Also testing whether or not these are just one time uh, usable camps or if you can re camp here every single time, which would be fabulous. I like the idea of lifesteal, but 7% on a kill is not great enough. That's like 10 hit points or something. Against many smaller enemies might make a difference, but not against kind of a clutch situation where you are fighting hard enemies anyways because you need to kill them in order to continue doing something. I'm not saying that um, 50% on the fourth attack of damage is necessarily much better. I don't think it is, but the weapons are further upgraded and have more overall damage, and that is better. Be gone, devil! Spectre heading for that corpse. Oh. Think you could take on a ghost? Standing by. Very nice. More messages. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. <laughs> Thomas?
You know I'll always love you. Right? She killed him. The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. She lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. There's more of them. The devil take you. Very good. Still trying to get to Thomas. Now we need to get over here. Still don't know what that point of interest is, but we're going to find out. Shite. Last time that we walked over it, everything was fine. Now monsters are respawning. Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone. <laughs> they brought more friends. Okay, not good. Let's get back up. Watch out! Spectre possession! Move, Red! I'm right here, you know. Good. That was so unnecessary nice to take that Thomas. hit. Oh, that was so unnecessary. Well, fight was okay, but could have done a bit better. Who's that? Yes, something's here. See, I discovered it beforehand, but the game wouldn't let me... Play. Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood-guilty, fool, forever, never-ending, mercy by my loving kindness... No, I cannot. Jesus I will not. Prudence, forgive me! Forever, silence is forever. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas, my God, no! What have you done? Stay, please, stay! No chisel, your love uh, is ever enough. Okay. He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. Was uh, that the point of interest on the map? No, it was not. Okay. 
Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? You take the lead, then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong. You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me. She needs me. She needs me. He's lost his mind. And he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him. Then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? Your husband. That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. I can tell you the truth. But can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted, you feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? I'm doing my job. Nothing more. Your husband haunts you. I'm here to help you both. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much. Which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden. Away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. I'm sorry, Prudence. Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Vanisseur, est de loin le plus perfide. Very well, then. We got ourselves another that essence. Was tough. I'd like to think I'd have done no different. As long as I draw breath, 
I'll do all I can to protect you. I know. Can we hit that up there somehow? He doesn't have a range attack, does he? Is it just me or? I felt it too. See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Ah, I see. Okay, we're up for another skill point. I like that. I like that a lot. That also explains why there are so many dead people here. Present yourself. All right. Crack finger knuckles and let's go, baby. Uh oh. friends ah this guy is is an absolute pain watch out spectre almost there But the range attacks are also painful. So think you could take on a ghost. <gasps> Finally, that was so necessary. They're vexed now. Standing by. Cool. Got another elite gem. Very nice. I feel a draft. From the invisible. I think that was pretty much it. Let's just double check. Can't go, can't go. Can't go anywhere. We're going back to town. I'll just double check this place here, but I will fast forward it for you so that you don't need to see me walking through here. And see you in a bit. Good, we find ourselves uh, right back in camp. I collected a couple of resources, just learned that uh, all of the resources are effectively respawning once you are done. Uh, with the day. And we found a brooch. Punch damage is increased by 5%. Okay, cool. Well, that's the last last item that we need. Needed. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fix them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. 
You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? I'll take my leave. I do. Good. And that brings us to the resting part. A little bit of leveling up, I suppose. And then that's pretty much it. We did well. <clears throat> Got rid of both of uh, these hauntings. Interesting stories nonetheless. And got a couple of evolutions ready. Can't even use all of the evolutions so far. I think uh, the initiator would be good. And what else do we have? Defeating an enemy with punch. Uh, deals AoE damage or defeating an enemy with punch refills the Banish Gorge. Hmm. I like Banish a lot, so we're going to go with that. Banish cannot be interrupted, you're not taking damage and so on, so that's actually quite helpful. One easy upgrade. Could upgrade another time. If we want it, the question is, do we take the brooch or do we upgrade something else? It seems that all of the other things currently cannot be upgraded, don't have enough wool, but we could buy wool and we should likely do that. What's happening with the Banishing Ring? I uh, don't have a Scorch Accretion, so that's not happening. Translucent Fiber, mm. not having that at the moment. And here we need another Scorch accretion. So before we end, let me try to get wool so that we can get another upgrade. And I'm pretty sure we can't buy a Scorch accretion, but I mean, you never know, right? Where's the merchant when you need them? Don't tell me he has left his house. All right, let me find a merchant. Good, we're back. Spend some of our hard earned cash for wool and linen, which finally gets us to the inventory because all of a sudden we can also upgrade this here. We have enough wool, we're good. Crisp moss. Okay, we need a lot of it, but we got at least the nest silt, so we can continue upgrading that if we get the moss. And she definitely is very, very nicely upgraded. Uh, we don't even have a rifle at this point. Which... Did we, did we miss it? I don't know. Scorch accretion seems to be rare to come by. I have not seen a single translucent fiber. Yeah, but we're, I mean, we're upgrading slightly i suppose so that's not bad i 
Oh, that's not bad. Good. Anyways, that's the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Banishers, uh, The Ghost of Eden, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.